Starmer consciously throughout was emphasizing the idea of the Conservative Party conference being crankish, using the language of talking, saying that it was riddled with conspiracy theories, and the idea that Sunak was only talking, not only to himself, but to his class. There was this bit of the speech that I thought was particularly striking, where he was saying, it's not so much that Sunak is lying to you. It's not so much that he doesn't really... It, it's more that he doesn't understand what he's saying. He the, doesn't the walls understand. of Westminster were very high. Exactly. The yeah. walls of Westminster, really striking phrase, the walls of Westminster are too high that he can't see and that they can't see the true state of how they are and what they're in. So setting himself up in a way even though in so many ways he kind of personifies the British state as the outsider looking in. I also thought there was quite an interesting line where he talked about how much the state would intervene. And this is a big question. We were hearing it being asked, you know, on the airwaves quite a lot. Oh, you seem to want to be interventionist. Oh, does that mean that the state's going to get much bigger in people's lives? And his response to that is politics should tread lightly on people's lives but it should allow people to have the freedoms to afford the things that they are now telling us they can't afford, the little things that make your life better. And it was interesting that that got a really big round of applause when he was talking about people going around the supermarket, picking up a treat and then putting it back because they couldn't quite afford it. And for me, it spoke to a kind of, it was the injection of hope, actually. And it was the injection of, you don't have to ask that much. You don't have to ask that much. We'll take care of the big things and you get to have your freedoms. And you contrast it with, let's just bring in old Penny for a second. But Penny wanted everyone to stand up and fight. Suella wanted everyone to fuck off back home, <laughs> I mean, to put it, you know, mildly. And Rishi Sunak didn't seem to find the note of optimism at all uh, in his speech. And I thought there was something in Keir Starmer that didn't mention sunlit uplands or any sort of kind of terribly sort of conservative phrase, but did speak to something that was, I suppose, injecting a, a, a bit of sunlight there, actually. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 